As you can see, I have the Apartamento from Rocket. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I'm gonna go over the features of what this machine has, the crew review in other words. Uh, of course, it's a rocket, so it's built well. We love it. The stainless steel casing is just really nice. Comes in different colors. You'll see the circles on the side, uh, white and copper from the factory, and then an optional black that we offer. So check that out on our website. Um, obviously, it has a steam arm right over here. It has the water arm right here. The steam arm is what's called an anti-burn steam arm. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not going to get hot. That means it's double wall and it's not going to get as hot as a traditional non-burn. That gives you more time to wipe off the excess milk so that it doesn't burn onto the steam arm. You've got your E61 brew head, and it's a lever machine with a three-way solenoid coming off of the E61. The E61 is a something that was um, invented... And I can't remember who it was back in the 70s, I think it was, 70s or 80s. And what it does is consistency of temperature is very important in an espresso machine to get the best shot that you can. It siphons water from the boiler and it runs through the E61 and then back to the boiler. It just does this all the time that it's on. So that's a good thing. Keeps the brew head consistently hot. Um, it has a drip tray right down here. As you can see, it's got the, the little squat of your legs. That's some more, that's the latest legs that they put out. Whoops. One manometer, and what this tells you is what's going on inside the boiler. When this is hot, it goes up to about one to 1.5. That tells you that the boiler is up to temperature. Now that does not say that the machine itself is up to temperature because the E61 has to siphon a lot of hot water through it to get the portafilter and everything hot. So we recommend turn this on about 20 minutes ahead of when you really want to use it. Dispense this hot water right here. Uh, back here you have the water tank. And this is a tank only machine. And this is uh, 2.25 liters of water. Right there. Yeah, if you want a plumb machine, you'll have to move up to uh, one of the other machines. Nice cup. Uh, warming surface up here with a plastic and we do have the optional uh, metal cup surrounds that you can purchase as an accessory for this machine so check that out so let's see what else heat exchanger machine which means that you can brew and steam at the same time i'm also going to lift the lid and show you the heat exchanger and some of the workings on the inside so stay tuned for that Right down here, you see this little button on the front. That's a overpressure valve. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of water coming out of it from the, um, uh, uh, the boiler. Don't worry about that. It's supposed to do that. That's what it's there for, and that's why it's right above the drip tray. Nice grate. I didn't show you that. Comes right out. So everything is washable. So this is your light that indicates on and off. If that light starts blinking, while you're using it or at any time, that means the water tank is out of water. Refill the water tank, you'll be all set to go again. So what comes in the box with the machine? Let's talk about that as well. This is the double portafilter. Comes also with a single. You can see the spout is single and a single basket. Back flush disc. A flash drive that has the manual on it. Cleaning tablets, a brew head brush, which I would recommend swapping that out. Get a nice one. There's some nice ones on our website. Uh, it comes with the micro cleaning rag for all that stainless steel I showed you, and then the manual. One manual does all of the models that Rocket makes, and in several different languages. So find the Apartamento in here, and it tells you all about how to use it. So that's basically what comes in the box with your purchase. What's left? Let's make a drink. Ugh, I have to get at this in the right angle. Watch, see? See how easy it is with the angle? What can I say? Let me get some milk. We got the Faustino over there set up with Holler Mountain from Stumptown. We're gonna be brewing that up today and I'm gonna make myself a latte, small one. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's, let's uh, take a look-see under the lid. 
under the hood, as I like to call it. I took the cup rail off. We're going to take the water tank out. And there's a couple of screws down in the casing where the water tank goes, and there's a couple of screws up here that come out. We don't want you to take this apart at home. It voids your warranty. I'm only doing it to show you uh, what we have going on in here. All right, so there's your 1.8 liter boiler right there. Here's the feed for the steam arm. There's a feed for the water over here. Various and sundry controls down in here that I won't go over, but you can see a control box down there. And then this feeds the E61 as well. Um, way down under, and you're not going to be able to see it, there's the little vibratory pump, and it's only about that big. It's about a, you know, it's... Uh, it's about four inches long and about two and a half inches tall, two and a half inches wide. It's not very big. And this is the pump they're going to put in machines when the machine is not plumbed. So this is a tank only. So as you can see, there is one little thing. If you can see this screw right down here, that screw is what detects if you have water or not in your water tank. And what it does is it senses the minerals in the water. So distilled water will not register, it'll, it'll give you the signal, the blinking signal that there's no water in the tank when actually there is. So you want to make sure you have a little bit of minerals and that's the screw down there. It's a low voltage uh, uh, sensor. It just a little bit of voltage goes through there and senses the minerals. So that's the inside. Got to button her back up, put it back together and make a drink. Okay, I've got my milk. I'm gonna get some uh, coffee out of the Faustino and one of the nice features of this grinder is it's quiet, but the other nice feature I wanted to talk about, it has a pause so you can shake it down and then hit the button and resume. Okay, we got plenty of coffee, let's stop. Make sure you level it out so that it gets, you know, evenly distributed in the portafilter and it just works better. You get a better shot. Okay, I'm going to move over to the other side because I am right-handed. And make sure you purge the condensation for that. And let's get the cup under here. And like I said, we can brew and steam at the same time. I'll do my best. I'm guessing it's close to two ounces. Yeah, that's another thing. Make sure you purge that and get the milk out of the steam tip. If you don't, as it cools, it'll siphon back into the boiler and you will have no option but to replace the boiler because once the milk burns in there, there's no getting it out. Nice. Take a look-see at that. A little better than sometimes, I think. Mmm. Ooh, that's yummy. It says creamy and caramel. I concur. Very good. Yeah, that's yummy. Mmm. Maybe it was the rocket frothing picture that made my art better. So that's the Apartamento from Rocket. Check it out on our website. All the statistics, the height, the width, the depth, and all that stuff is there. And uh, more description probably than what I've spoken about. 
And don't forget to make comments down below. Enter comments down below. And any questions, give us a call. Email us up. And thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate all of you guys out there watching our videos. Thanks a lot. Cheers.